not a notorious online player, but I've seen him online here and there. And, uh... And so... Yeah, Fox, Fox Pikachu. What's up, Kaz? And, uh, Fox Pikachu, it's... Apparently it's, it's a $100 money match. Wait, is this a $100 money match? Apparently. According to the stream layout. This is a hundred dollar money. One hundred dollars on the line. Oh. GT, uh, the homie from Baltimore. I love this dude. Top eight at CEO Dreamland. Uh, so he has the oh. results. And Andykins. Andykins apparently already has one. <laughs> and so, uh, hey, oh my God, GT. Uh, beautiful lifeguard from GT. Yo, let's go Baltimore. Oh. Yeah, that's where we are right now. Congratulations. Yo. Yo, oh, I can man. I can cheer for my boys. Man, that follow up would have been so good. And oh boy, this is Oh my god, such such delicate spacing. I love it. It needs to be. Like this is a very volatile matchup. Like, anybody miss spaces ever so slightly and they're, they're dead. Oh yeah, and Andy Kins is just doing a very good job. Uh, taking every punish to like its biggest extreme. Oh throw. He's going for a back throw there, but Oh, the forward tilt. I love it. Yo, Brilliant and GT option. making it back. Uh, Honestly, I, a lot of people are behind uh, Andy Kins. Yeah. And, oh, oh, no. no. He's jab up smash, but he's just a little into low percent. I believe GT got the, uh, some nice smash. Jab. Yeah, Andy Kins going too low. Uh, but... And oh there my we god. Go. Yo. This time. He needs to build up that extra percentage. Definitely. It's something like you'd see out of LD. Uh, but. Uh, but, okay. Yo. Oh, good up there. Getting, getting something up started. Air, back air, back air. Grab ledge, edge guard. Ooh. Nice snare. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Yo. Everyone popping off. Everybody is behind That was so good. Crowd. Please, someone clip that. I want to see that on Twitter. Like that laser jab up smash. Oh my god. That Yo, that that was such a good angle. Perfect. Okay, G GT doing it, doing a good GT job had escaping. No idea how to deal with that angle. Yeah, but but like escaping from that combo right there from GT, that was so good. All right. Yo, back throw. All right. And the back air. Yo, let's go GT. Let's go Baltimore. Simple and clean edge guard from uh, GT. Yeah, and so right now we're down one stock apiece, and literally um, it, it's this, this is gonna be so volatile. That's oh, uh, GT yo, just gets the basic good game guard. from GT. I mean, Baltimore's winning. Oh, yeah, kind of want to side bet somebody on this. You can't just you can't just walk into Baltimore and bet against Baltimore. Yeah, you gotta know what you're doing. Exactly. And Andykins. And Indicans switching to the LD color. Yeah. He knows what's up. And uh, going to a good game too. Too late to play this. I wanted to bet. I wanted to put a cycle. On this. Oh my god! I so I left all my chips back in the room. Yeah. But I would have bet money on uh, GT honestly. So <laughs> the way he was able to adjust at the end of that game. Definitely. Oh my god! So Yo, Indicans dropping the combo, yeah. but like a really good combo. First hit of up air. GT not able. To GT getting a little impatient with those, uh, those grabs. Oh, yeah. Uh, went for down tilt. Uh, oh, I'm pretty sure. an option, but because of the low percent, I would have said down tilt would have been a better option. Just because it would have covered. It would have covered hop up. It would have covered. Uh, oh, no. Missing the Z cancel. From Andy Kent's end. Uh, missing a Z cancel is typically punishable by death. But. That's oh, my God. Andy Kent's getting away with it. Yo, the neutral air, though. Let's see if uh, Andy Kent's clear on the edge guard. Good zip zap, unfortunately, uh, Andy Kent's not fast enough to punish the uh, oh, no. ledge cancel. Yo, reversal fortune for GT, and that's gonna be it. Beautiful edge guard. Just, so, a, just a nice drift back uh, nair, just a light hitbox. It doesn't have to be super hard, like, especially at that distance, with Fox's lackluster on Oh my god, that angle was beautiful. That was so good. It's, it's gonna just, be interesting. GT's getting a little, a little, like he's going for, he's just kind of grabbing a neutral. Like oh yeah, this is a nice close match. Oh yeah, pretty good. This is this is what you expect out of a hundred dollar money match. You don't want to see like completely one side. Oh yeah, no. It's not fun. Back row okay. Should be. And, and uh, I was gonna say a little too low of percent. If you pushed him farther away. Then... Oh my god. Keeping up with the lasers. Uh, not really. Too... Oh, he went for the jab grab, oh. but he was a little too far away. Oh. Oh my god, he hit GT up close. But yeah, I should tag this 
I, close. I like the option as far as uh, pushing uh, Andy Kins on stage. But Yo, Andy Kins, those combos though. Oh my god. I mean, oh, there we go. Good job, guys. Oh, just. Oh. I feel like if he had just grabbed the ledge and then the uh, ledge hops the back there, he would have grabbed it. Another good jab grab from Oh my god. Oh, the thunder. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, oh no, missing. Andy gets. Yo, uh, it was a good idea from GT, though. understanding that GT was going to go for the, the thunder again and uh, was drifting back just enough to. That Nair shouldn't seal it, and he just doesn't have to do uh, like GT needs to adjust to these, like, very high up the He's been, been kind of just, like, getting too aggressive, so Andy Kins just in response. Oh, yeah. Super and can we also just, like, mention Andy Kins is up these. Oh, like, well, they're, they're, they, they've been, like, pretty consistently good, like, he throughout this I match. Mean, he obviously, you know, as a Fox player, you need to understand exactly how far he pushes you. You need to know. Uh, what angles your opponents can punish you. He's doing really good at mixing up between high recoveries and low recoveries. Uh, the one thing I haven't seen is him starting off high, maybe like fast falling down. But given the fact that GT has been doing his best to just cover low options, uh, it makes sense. Yo. Dash attack is probably a miss of foot. Uh, just grab for the jab. Forward throw. Uh, oh my god, waiting honestly, it out. That was so good from Andy Kins. It was very good from Andy Kins, although I feel like... <gasps> Yo! GT, in response, realistically could have just drifted down and up aired and clipped him, and then still recovered. Because yeah, we but, all know Pikachu's up But still, so like, GT's st doing a pretty good job defensively. Just... Of course. Oh, that was oh my god. I, I like the idea of the jab in there, just to uh, force him on stage. Because... Also, for like future reference in this match, he'll understand uh, how GT likes to recover as far as like what he is or like does is he typically like gonna jump super uh, quickly and try and get back to stage as fast as possible? Is he gonna let him wait it out? And oh yeah. Try and see how Andy can still punish. It's a lot of good data for uh, the rest of the set. I'm assuming this is the best three out of five given that it's hundred dollars. Yeah, I would hope but, it's three out of five if it's yeah. uh, if there's a hundred dollars on it. I say it's two out of three for hundred. Plus, okay. I want to see more of this. Uh, oh, no. GT, side tilt too early. I probably actually... Um, forward smash would have been a better option. For the no one's going to die from that. Yeah, DBZ moments. Were easy. However, and GT is in a very precarious... He is at 143%. Two back throws, two neutral airs, it could and he wins. Do it, but the problem is if he gets shears, gets baited. And immediately That's true. Like, gets shined. At a hundred and like sixty. Ooh, oh, that was... I thought that back air was gonna go. That will be Alright, Andy can second game two. So we got a nice one one going. Very close set over there. Uh it although it looked like Andy Kins made a lot more adjustments coming into that second game, whereas oh, definitely. GT kind of stuck to the same game plan from game one. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it made it very apparent where it was like very close last stock match game one versus a very solid two stock. Mm -hmm. uh, Oh, so yeah. this is this is placement pools, and it's a hundred dollar money match. <laughs> that is. Three, two, oh wait, placement match. Go! Oh, so so basically, this is seeing who gets on the higher division. Yeah, well, I mean, a minute. so this is two out of three, but and that's gonna be a very quick and clean edge, edge oh guard God. scenario off the forward throw for uh, GT. He's gonna get another back throw. Oh, oh no. that back here is just gonna clean it up. Two quick stocks. Poor in Andy. Twenty can... seconds. That's that's the that, matchup. That is purely like that is the best example of the volatility of this matchup, especially on the end of uh, Fox. That shield pressure was incredibly good. Just a little bit off the up air, but uh, still really good. Good forward throw. Oh, oh my god. A little early in the up tilt. If you had waited a little longer, uh, the up tilt hitbox you know starts relatively low, so you should have been able to click. But like, okay. Oh, good down Yo, to Andy Kins gets something. Oh no, that was I, so unfortunate from Andy Kins. Yeah, I, I kind but. of, I kind of expected that. I was like, he seems a little too high for that. I, I see that more with Foxes. Uh, there see, we go. I see him try and pressure to the side with like a down air instead of the forward air. But I feel like the forward air was the correct option in that case because the down air wouldn't. Be much and then just down tilt, like. For all these like very complicated like micro spaced edge cards, to just down 
something. Hey, sometimes the simplest thing is significantly better than like the oh, yeah. complex options. I love the fact that he jab grabbed there, just because it gets him that little extra percent to push Fox farther off the stage. Very yeah. well done from GT. And now this is looking like a GT. commanding. Yo. GT taunting. Oh, I was about to like say, something just he clicks. was also at the holy percent of 64, and now he's at 95. Uh, very good, uh, very good job. Oh, Andykin's uh, messing up the zip zap. Andykin's on a comeback? It's possible. However, he missed that tech. Fox at 41%. Oh, oh Nair. Oh. I was expecting, I would have expected like an up air. Uh, like drift forward in front of him up air to push him back off stage, force another up beat. Because GT is overall on the low up beats. It's been very good at responding to them. And that's it. Oh my god. And that's, Yo, that's GT. it. Because it's a pull set. Yeah. It has to be two out of three. So but GT is clutching it out. out. Like, two one, places above Andy Kinsley's pool, and wins $100.